So this video is going to show you how you're going to test your lights today in Peel in our stoplight project. Um, first, here's RS links. Um, you're going to go once you have everything hooked up and I OK it. Um, you're going to go into the Ethernet IP connection, and you're going to look for a processor that will look something similar to this right here. Okay, you'll notice there's an IP address written on the processor itself in the last three show up. This is a little bit different than our trainers, but this is a little more re like what you'll see out in industry with the separate I.O. cards and other things. Um, you'll see the back plane, and it's important that you go into here because you'll have to right click on um, the, the, this here and it'll give you the revision type. Make note of that, it's revision three. Hopefully, most of them, some might be one, but just that's why we go in here. And right click and what is your uh, device properties? Well, this is revision 20. So if it's 20, we can't use Studio 5000. We have to use RS Logics 5000. So I want to pull up my search menu, RS Logics 5000, and we open that. And of course, it's opening on the screen here. So, um, what we're so I'm going to move everything back over here. The joys of multiple screens. So humor me. Um, here's my pro program program, and I want to do a new. And we have a 1768 L43 controller. If you didn't know that, RS. If I look in RS Logics and right click on the controller um, or device configure uh, device configure device properties, you might get some of that right there. See that? So 1769 L43. So it's important that you set up your hardware properly. So name, we'll do stoplight. And we want 20. We do not want any protection, and this is where you save it. Know where you save it. I would recommend changing this to your desktop so you can find it, um, just from experience. So, I know, so change that to the desktop. Hit OK. Okay. Notice down here, notice down here, um, there are two things that we will need to add. First things first, right-click on, on the 1769 bus, hit New Module. And we need to add the, the communication card. Okay, so let's add the communication card. It's this one right here, but if you want to double check on the RS links, you can see it's ENBTA. E so ENBTA. Um, so I hit create, major revision three, hit OK. And the, it, we, we can just call this um, ENET for the card. And put in the IP address. And how you get the IP address is right here from RS Link. So in my case, it's 10 162. It's going to be in slot one. And if you don't know, look at this little number right here. This is the slot it's in. Hit OK. That way the hardware is there. Um, so you can close. the next thing we need to add are I.O. cards in. So that's on the 1769 bus. This is unique because it's got two different style buses. Um, so right click new module and you can just type in 1769 oh, IQ16. No, IQ16. That's what it is. IQ16. Hit create. You can give it a name. You can match a revision. You're probably safe by just hitting OK. And do the same thing with the output card. OB16. Is right here you create and if you want to double check all that you can go into the um, the 1769 bus you can right click here device properties it's actually revision 3 device properties revision 3 I can I should change that if I'm consistent if you made a mistake just right click on it properties and you can change that to 3 apply properties change because um, because we have compatible uh, keying it should work out hit apply 
hit OK. And what we're going to do next is go up to the communication path. So this is all funky. You don't know what to do. Go up to view and toolbars and just hit reset factory layout and then hit OK and then everything goes back. So now let's hit the communication path to download. So uh, IP, you know, 162. Now you're going to have to go through this in order to see your processor. And you know you've done it right when this is, shows up. Then you hit download. Hit download. Hit yes. If you see IO OK, you're good. If not, you know, the next, the, and now what we're going to do is we're going to go into our controller tags. So I keep asking the question how does it connect to the processor? Is it local? Yes. Our input cards are on slot one, so all of our inputs are going to be local, one, I, data, whatever the input is. And look, right now, you see a one there. That because there's an input on in the back. So you can toggle that, and that should show up. That And it, that should correspond to the zero screw that you tied into. Um, for your outputs to test those, we will go down to local, two, O, data and and we will put ones into these spots and that will turn the lights on according to where we are if you hit a zero it turns it off so literally i'm just typing in one and i'll turn that light on. that's way of testing because we don't have a program in there um and we'll get to that point eventually but that's how we're going to test our io we're going to set up a hardware from scratch using rs logics um the vision 20 on those processors all right, hope that was helpful. You should be able to listen to this without volumes if you need to, but we'll go from there.